Hi everyone, my name is Monique Johnson and I'm so so excited to have both Jenny Mustafa Julak and Annie Passanisi from the Hungry Entrepreneurs. Um, the reason why I'm having this Google Hangout is because right now I feel that Google Hangouts are the major trend or the major craze right now and there's a lot of ways that you can use it to either build your audience, launch your business, and in this case for today's episode, it's about launching your own self-published ebook or book online. And um, we have two awesome co-founders of The Hungry Entrepreneurs, and they just released the book of yeah. ebooks <laughs> suck. And um, I just want to actually ask both of you all as to why you decided to create this book and just tell us more about the ebook that you created. For Annie, you want to take that one? Sure. All right. Uh, ebooks suck, but they don't have to. Is a forty-one person opus about all things ebook conception, creation, and promotion. So start to finish, um, it is an absolute steal at four ninety-nine, which is two cents a page. And that's what we set out to do: uh, is not give you an ad at the beginning of this hangout, but to find forty-one people um, that could really cover one area and maybe. That one person had extreme success or maybe they had extreme failure or somewhere in between. Uh, we didn't set out to have 41. We set out to have about 15, but people love the idea and it spread. And so we call it the most comprehensive guide possibly ever because it's by far the largest book ever written. Uh, like I said, it's 250 pages. But why we did it was uh, we couldn't find a guide that was comprehensive enough to answer all the questions our members were asking. So we wanted to make a product for them and a product for the hungries out there that haven't found us yet. Um, that's really all inclusive, if not exhausting. But so that's what we did. And we unleashed it on the world last Monday, the 25th. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And just real quick before we actually dig into everything, tell us what is Hungry Entrepreneurs? For those who don't know what Hungry Entrepreneurs is. Go, Jenny! All right, all right, I'll take that one. <laughs> Hungry Entrepreneurs is a support tribe for brave entrepreneurs and freelancers who are teetering somewhere between launching their business and bankruptcy, meaning all of us. <laughs> Annie and I came up with Hungry Entrepreneurs because the two of us are entrepreneurs and freelancers ourselves who realize that sometimes entrepreneurship sucks and nobody's really willing to say that. There's a ton of literature and ton of advice and expertise about, you know what, just quit your job and dive in and be an entrepreneur and ta-da, fabulous life. But nobody tells you what happens after happily ever after. Um, and we wanted to create a space where we can help each other, um, which is a crazy idea. So it's a membership tribe of really amazing, awesome sauce people who just see the value in creating content together, seeing that content to help us with each other's businesses, collaborating at every opportunity, bartering services with each other so we can support each other, um, and once in a while even commiserating a little bit about the fact that sometimes <laughs> this is freaking hard. <laughs> so that is what we do. Annie and I are founding members of this tribe. Um, so it started as just two, and then we decided that was selfish. So we have invited the world in. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so... I know it must have been really crazy for you all to get the 41 con contributors. So let's go past that and talk about, okay, the marketing strategy. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people who are not familiar, uh, these two wonderful ladies did an eight-hour Google Plus Hangout along with the video trailer. So before we actually tackle the um, Google Hangout, because that's like awesome, and they called it a junket, by the way, and you will learn what that is very shortly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> why did you all decide to go the video route? Let's tackle the video trailer. Why did you all decide to create it, and what was the whole process behind that? The trailer is all Annie, so Annie, I'll let you take that one. Yeah, um, personally, I love um, unexpected video ads. Not that the video trailer is that unusual anymore, but anytime I can make one, I, I always will. Jenny and I, for Hungry Entrepreneurs, have a million videos in the works and a million videos up. 
Um, I've done a bunch of neuro branding and marketing research, which is my other hat, into what people respond to. And a lot of people say, if there's a video, people will click it. Um, but our particular video trailer, we wanted to keep upbeat and engaging to kind of go with our tongue-in-cheek branding. And also, we don't want people to think that this is you know, going to be an encyclopedia. We want them to know that it's accessible, digestible. So the video has um, an element of humor in it. So we wanted to get the message out there in an additional way for the visual and auditory learners out there. Um, and and also show them a little taste of us, our of our approach and our voicing. And video is a fantastic way, in our opinion, to combine all of that into one neat, sparkly package. Okay. And how did you go about structuring it? I see. I'm assuming that you used. Um, I, I can't believe I don't know the name of this now. It starts with a P. But um, Prezi. Prezi. There you go. So. Tell us, like, how did you go about structuring it, coming up with the content? Was it just something that you kind of just, you know, let's do this? Or, like, did you really plan it out, script it out, that sort of thing? Uh, I'm not big into scripting. Okay. I probably should be. <laughs> Jenny hates this about me. Um, no, we don't script. I know, but I say like, it's, it's part of, I guess, like, my, my, improv uh, my improvisational theater background. Um, I don't script much, but what I do is storyboard, and uh, this video is actually pretty easy because we set out for this ebook to answer questions, and so uh, Megan and Jenny, Megan Atkinson and Jenny took the step back and said, what are these questions that we need to answer? So most of the questions are just stated, unanswered, and in a <laughs> idea of uh, frantic, frenzied, entrepreneurial panic, uh, but that, that was most of it. And uh, the rest of it just kind of all came together. But we decided to use Prezi uh, because I was going to use iMovie, which I adore. But I wanted the questions to kind of um, bombard you. And the effects in iMovie that I were finding were all very, like, hit and fade, hit and fade. And it wasn't frantic enough for me. I really wanted it to be more in your face, but in a lovely, delicate way sunshine anyway. And I just thought, well, maybe I'll look on Prezi because I know that they can spin and do all this crazy stuff. And, and that just wound up um, being what we were going with. So the video was made in a combination of Prezi, Camtasia, and iMovie. <laughs> um, kind of a beautiful uh, blend of that. But before I forget, I have to give a shout out on the video because the video would not have worked at all without the absolute stupendous genius of one of our members, Christopher Claych, um, who just randomly, I asked him, he's a brilliant composer based in New York, I asked him if he would be available, uh, if it would be okay if I used previous music that he had created uh, for this video trailer. And he said, no, I'm going to make you something new. And I said, okay, but I need this in like, four days and he was like no I can do that I just need you to send me something rough and then I'll do that so I actually recorded sample timings sent it to him he turned around this Grammy award-winning brilliance brilliance and and it really added such a huge um, layer so Jenny and I are so grateful to him for being the world's greatest composer and also the world's fastest composer. Absolutely. So. He, he was able to make, give it that almost Looney Tunes feel, which I think is because that's kind of how we are. Um, but we also have to shout out to Ryan Ruggles, our fabulous voiceover artist. Um, being the fact that A Hungry Entrepreneurs is normally just a bunch, you know, the two of us and our crazy voices, it was really exciting to have a male voice um, and have somebody else. And, we have this fabulous voiceover artist out of Chicago, Ryan Ruggles, who uh, agreed to do this for us. And his comedic performance, plus Chris's amazing music, plus the fabulous Prezi that Annie had styled, came together into this absolute just beautiful package that ha you know has the sense of humor <laughs> that Hungry Entrepreneurs is all about. But, but it also, also has that 
collaborative nature that we're trying to encourage in other people. So, mm -hmm. so I think, I, like Jenny said, like it's great yeah. that we had a male voice, and it's also awesome that we got to use a member composer and all these other things. And and so any of your people that you can involve in the process, it doesn't have to be just you. If you're not a video person. Take a Prezi tutorial, take a, you know, buy an iMovie book. You can do this on your own. And if you want something really super sharp then and you have the money, then definitely hire someone. But if you need, you know, if you have a friend with a really awesome voice or you know a musician that's trying to get their stuff out there or you have a Jenny who introduces you to Prezi and it rocks your <laughs> world completely, you know, like you can, you can crowdsource your video trailer. So if you don't think that, um, it's something that you're capable of, you are, you just have to get scrappy. Right, exactly. I, I highly recommend doing that as well. Okay, so you guys created this video trailer. In your opinion, do you think, for especially since you know the whole phenomenon is self-publishing and a lot of people are doing that, especially on the Amazon Kindle platform, do you feel that online video is a must for people? And if so... How has it helped you so far with your launch? It's a good question. Um, I do feel like it's a must for the right kind of ebook. I mean, our ebook is specifically targeted to anybody in the world who's ever written an ebook, had it succeed, written an ebook, had it failed, thought about writing an ebook and only got halfway there, or is scared to death of writing an ebook. All of those people <laughs> need, are, we find them online and they're all over online and the video makes that really engaging and interesting. There's something pretty special about the fact that there's this weird video of an iceberg <laughs> that you want to press play on that makes no sense at all. I mean the fact that it really is cartoony and silly is at, you know, adds to the kind of um, potential viral nature of that. Um, and so we think it's very, very necessary. It's, it's something people that it's something that people will want to share mm -hmm. on Facebook. They'll want to share it across social media. Um, and it really just gave a lot of life to this project that we're doing that people do not understand until they, they talk to us. Nobody understands what the heck we're doing. Well, first of all, it's Annie and I. So usually people. But also, are, we named our book Ebook Suck. Yeah. I mean, it has a longer title and then a longer subtitle, but the short title is Ebook Suck. So people are like, you wrote an ebook called Ebook Suck, and then they watch the video, and it's like, ebook writing, ebook production, ebook promotion sucks, it's overwhelming, blah, blah, blah. it's like the general feel of the video. And then people watch the video and go, well, I get your title now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I think Jenny hit the nail on the head. Video is um, intrinsically shareable. Mm. Um, you have to have, in order to use video, you have to have a market that knows how to turn their computer on, but they don't necessarily have to be as uh, tech savvy as people you can get into a Hangout or a Twitter chat or even Twitter in general, um, people you can get to like your Facebook page. Because, you know, even if they're doing basic social media or basic internet, email their own Facebook page, people can say, hey, Monique, I think you should watch this video, and there it is. You know, or I can email it to you directly. I can get that link to you. So it's more shareable um, in a perceived accessibility way than other episode or other areas of social media. Um, and a lot of the time, it's pretty much almost free. I mean, we lucked out. Everyone should hire Christopher and throw money at him. Everyone should hire Ryan and throw money at him. Um, but. But I mean, other than that, you can you can make a movie for basically free. Vimeo Premium, which is what we use for our video hosting and love, Vimeo Plus is I think five dollars a month, and you or five to ten dollars a month, and you get up to five gigs, which you will never use. If you can use all five gigs that they give you, call me and I will make you a cupcake. But point is, like it's it's more than you could need. So it's cheap, which I think is really important for marketing plans for most people. It has viral capability that Jenny talked about, which I think is major, and it's intensely and intrinsically shareable. So, yeah, I mean, long story short, you said, is it, man is it mandatory for 90% of ebooks? I say, yeah. Mm, okay. Definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can do that. All right, so let's get into the real meat and potatoes. You all hosted an eight hour Google Plus Hangout. Eight hours. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you called it. Jenny's idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay. And you called it a junket. So I have two questions. First, number mm-hmm. one, what is a junket? And then two, why did you decide to do a hangout? I love that Annie's pointing at me. This is all my fault. The junket is my fault. I take complete responsibility. Because you should. And it was a huge success. So she can take complete responsibility for that huge success, too. Okay. Uh, Eight hour madness. (laughs) Eight hours. That's that's amazing. So, yes, go ahead. First, what is a junket? The junket. Why did you decide, you know, Google Hangout? The word junket comes from Hollywood. So when Hollywood has a new movie that's big and exciting, they have what's called a press junket, where they invite the press to watch the movie alongside the cast and the producers and some of the different people that are involved in creating the the movie. It's a big press brouhaha. And that's where when you see that Entertainment Weekly interviewed the star of the new show, and then you're like, oh, look, so did CNN, (laughs) so did CBS. They were all in the same room. They just took turns interviewing people, right? So that's what a junket is. The other thing is, because we are hungry entrepreneurs, and because Annie and I are nuts, we like to find every opportunity to use a food-related word in our events. And apparently the word junket also means some kind of nasty gelatin. So really? we have milk jello no. or jello or something gross. I don't exactly know. We've tried to look it up. It sounds disgusting, but that's what a junket is. And so what we wanted to do is we had 41 contributors say, sure, I would love to be a part of this project. Before they even knew what it was, before we even knew what it was, we were calling it a super secret project because we didn't know what we were doing, but we were inviting collaborators in anyway because we knew we were onto something. And we wanted to have an opportunity on launch day for as many contributors as possible to be involved in that. And so the reason it's an eight-hour junket is because we had 33... <laughs> Okay, plus Annie, me, and Megan. So 33 more, 36 of the 41 available in one eight-hour day, which I think is phenomenal considering we had people geographically stretched between Hawaii and London. Argentina. And Argentina and Canada. And and Mexico. Yeah, we had Mexico, Argentina, Canada, and then the entire continental U.S., Hawaii, Three and people in England. Three Brits. Three Brits. So I can't even say the continental U.S. because Dave Ursula is in Hawaii right now. So we have people up everywhere. It was insane. So wait a second. How how did you even... Okay, luckily you all were able to get that same day, but I'm pretty sure there was like emails going back and forth. Like how were you able to pull this off? Yeah, Jay how were you able to do this? <laughs> I'm an organizational uh, whiz. And basically, this is how it went down. When we invited them to be part of ebook suck, we asked them to do one thing that was required: is to write a piece that was about 750 to 1,000 words. Mm-hmm. That was what was required. Oh, and their bio, right? You know, their bio, their picture, stuff like that. But optional was to be involved in the marketing of the book um, during the hungry entrepreneurs' marketing. So for one week, this book was only available on Amazon by Hungry Entrepreneurs, and starting this past Monday, it is now available on the websites of every contributor that wants to sell it. Okay. So they I are, like that. all of that part is completely optional, but when we said to them about midway through the project, would you be available on launch day, even though, again, we didn't know what we were doing yet, <laughs> would you be available, and when, they put up availability, and every single person that put up availability I emailed with time slots broken down by half hour, and with only a couple of tweaks, everybody showed up. And here's why that worked, because they were bought in to what we were doing. Yeah. This is not the Jenny and Annie book, and or Jenny, Annie, and Megan. It is a book of 41 of us. I was going to say, Jenny and I and, and wrote less than anyone else of this book actually wrote two pieces, so Megan wrote more than anyone else of this book. But Jenny wrote the introduction, and I wrote the conclusion, and then we edited it, compiled it, sorted it, did mustard it, fed it, whatever, oh god, went into like three week labor with the beast. Like, this this isn't our book, and 
right, what we want, and part of the reason why we wanted to do a hangout is we promised these people promotion as part of what we wanted to show. Like, these are the incredible people that we think are super geniuses that are involved in this project. We're going to talk to them about the project, tell them about what they're doing, and we're going to introduce them to you. And so... No, anyway, it's okay. Sorry, so, ahead. I mean, that was the organization. What, the reason it worked is that every single person that said that they wanted to be involved that day made it a priority and worked with me to get it so that they could make it. We had one person email frantically, I'm running 10 minutes late, like that mattered because we were on for six more hours. But, you know, nobody noticed and everybody showed up on time. Um, everybody had their kind of moment about who they why they decided to crazy, what they wrote about, um, and how we can contact them. And um, just giving everybody that quick little opportunity made for a junket where we got to interview them as though we were the press and they were um, the, the actors in our movie. That's awesome. I, I love so, the whole idea. That's why it's eight hours. Right. The whole idea, the whole theme. Well, I mean, it had to be eight hours if you have 36 people, you know, coming on. So with so many different time zones. So that totally makes sense. So, but why did you all just decide to do this in the first place? Was it something that you just thought would be fun? Did you think it was something that, like you said, Annie, earlier about with video, how it was so shareable and, you know, all that other, it was so, you know, it has so much intrinsic value. Do you think having or hosting this junket really helped with the ranking um, which, you know, we'll ask that in a second, like your Amazon rankings and all that. So um, why, in general, did you de decide to do a Google Plus Hangout? Well, there... Can I take that for a second? Please, go ahead. Well, I mean, in terms of... The junket had two goals, okay? A, we wanted to promote and sell the book. Sure. But the other goal was we really, it's equally important to Jenny and I to promote our contributors. So the other goal was to promote and introduce our contributors. So I believe the junket was successful in, in both veins. The first uh, thing is, yeah, we sold books. People shared the junket. We had some people watch all day, you know, uh, and, peop and that was fantastic. So do we think it was successful in that aspect? Did it get people to, to know about the book? Did it sell books? Yes, it did. Um, but more importantly, almost, what it did was Jenny, in her infinite organizational brilliance, took people that had complementary pieces and, and put them into one time slot, but also people that wouldn't necessarily be on the radar of the other contributors' audiences. So if I am a diehard fan of Mark Babbitt from U-Turn. I love him. I love everything he does. And Mark posts on Google Plus and Twitter and Facebook, hey, I'm doing this junket from 3.30 to 4 or whatever it was. You get on, you get your Mark fix, but then, oh, look, here's Sarah Gashman. I don't know her. I've never heard of her. She's on a completely different industry. She's right there next to Mark. Suddenly, I'm interested in this person. She's not a competitor for Mark. Kadena Tate, one of our brilliant people, would tell you that comp competition doesn't exist because it's all based on who you are yourself. But we didn't really have any direct, like, going to have a knife fight um, competition people. But you know, I'm, I'm looking for Mark. I find Mark. But then I also get sick. And, you know, 15 minutes or half an hour later, we're bringing on two other people. If you're hooked on it, you get more, you get more, you get more. So one thing that we love is the more we promote any one contributor and every book we sell, it promotes each of the 41, which was really awesome. And one reason why I think the junket was just beautifully styled by Jenny, because it really allowed um, introductions to spread far and wide. And, I mean, just in terms of the contributors, for the first a lot, a lot of them, it was the first time where they met each other. So that was kind of cool to be able to say, like, this person, this is this person. We want to work together. Right. It's us. Yeah, it definitely creates a personal touch. And like you said, it allows people who um, read the book and just wanted to learn more about people, putting, like, a name to the face and all that other stuff and saying, you know, uh, did you guys, by chance, ever open it up to questions for the actual contributors, like from the audience at all, or it was just mostly like, how was the structure? What did you guys do during those eight hours? 
Great question. Um, that was something originally I had in my head that we were going to take questions from the audience, take questions from Twitter, and also invite some Hungry Entrepreneurs members to come in. Because in my mind, you know, like always, 10, 12 of these people might be available. <laughs> I thought, you know, we're going to have all this time to fill. We, the way it was structured, we started at 10 a.m. Central. We went to 6, 6 p.m. From 10 to 10.30, um, Annie, Megan, and myself got on. By the way, it was Megan Atkinson's birthday. She spent her birthday calling in sick from work. Well, not calling in sick, taking her birthday off. Well, well Sorry, there. Took her day off. There you go. Don't get Megs in trouble. No, no. Took her day off from work officially to spend it with hungry entrepreneurs because she's that ridiculously awesome. Spend the entire day with us. And this introduced um, ebook stuff. We introduced hungry entrepreneurs and we introduced what the junket was going to be. And then promptly at 1030. And for every 30 minutes after that, I love the, um, of the, what do you call it? The Google Plus Hangout. Find the people, invite them in, bring them in, help them with technical issues, and then come back up on camera. Meanwhile, stopping to eat and go to the bathroom really quickly without any bubble mulling <laughs> whenever I needed to. Um, there are a couple times I'm like, I'll be right back. <laughs> you know. Um, and so that's how it was structured. Each person that came in, we wanted to be very conversational. Share that I think made it so successful. Far too often, everything we do as entrepreneurs is so polished that it's not real. I like and that. we have a balance Ooh. of polished and real. So we have the polished, perfect trailer that's got music and voiceover and schnaz, and it's awesome. And you know what else we have? We have a big old bloopers reel waiting to happen because we have eight hours of challenges. We have one contributor, Deb Hart. God bless. Who oh. had no sound? Here, this is my dad. <laughs> <laughs> she, we couldn't get her sound to work the entire time, so she put notes up and oh, we would read them aloud. That is awesome. Any <laughs> film interviewed her that way. We had our fabulous contributor Kadina Tate come on, and for oh, some reason her camera kept zooming in, and zooming out, and we couldn't figure out why. And she didn't know we so were live. Funny. She goes, oh, man. Live? I'm like, yeah, it doesn't pause, Kadena. We had some beautiful moments too, though. Dr. Kent Gustafson got on and played the banjo while yeah. I read Jenny's introduction to the book. Because he just showed up with the banjo. And we were like, <laughs> you know what? You're amazing. Okay. Was, but yeah, yeah, definitely plan for and accept technical difficulties. They're not the end of the friggin' world, they are the standard. They are the norm. You're not going to look like an amateur if you have a technical difficulty in your hangout. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah. I mean, maybe you shouldn't like say a bunch of expletives and cry if you have a technical difficulty. Like right. that probably won't make you look very good. But otherwise, like everyone knows that this stuff happens. Just let it ride. Do what you can. Exactly. So what I what, one of the reasons we wanted to do a junket in the first place to answer your other question was because we wanted to highlight the contributors, tell the world about Hungries, tell the world about ebooks suck, but also be real and just have this live experience. Yes, it was a little bit of a publicity stunt because it was eight hours long. But that's the only that's where the publicity stunt of it ends, right? It's just that it was eight hours long and that's ridiculous and that gets people's attention. They're like, <laughs> how are you gonna stay on the camera for like and we got tweets and stuff. There was real concern that Annie hadn't eaten. Okay, here's my other tip. If you're going to do a marathon hangout, have food in your house. Yes. Because there are people offering to order pizza for her. In editing and formatting mode for like two straight weeks. So I had been in my bed working and I had eaten like all of my emergency reserve food, like my oatmeal and whatever. Like I had eaten all of that. So on one of the little breaks when I was like trying to find lighting and I was running around like a crazy, I opened all my cabinets and I opened my fridge and I had nothing. Like <laughs> zero. And so then I was like, oh, I'm getting hilarious because I haven't eaten. And Jenny's totally right. Like, like Google Plus messages and tweets. And I'm getting like text messages that are like, you need to get off camera and go eat. So if you're planning on having a long 
online stint of any time, you need to do one of two things. You either need to have food in your house, or you need to not mention that you haven't eaten. <laughs> These are the yeah. only things you could do, because otherwise people are going to get upset. Okay. So, I, yeah, I mean, it is. It's raw. It's live. It's, it's, uh, it's real. You know, there's, there's something about um, most webinars that Jenny said that, that is that, you know, presentational Today we are going to talk about ebook suck. And I'm sure like of course there's an element you know, you have Carol Dodsley, Queen of Hangouts coming on and like clapping under people and photoshopping hats onto her head. So like she's just ridiculous and wonderful. But you know it's Monique, have you connected with her yet? Yeah, I have. I have actually. Have you connected um, with Carol, Monique? Yeah, I have. And actually, we're supposed to have a Google Hangout kind of just like this, talking about how you can use Google Hangouts for your business. So, thanks to you guys and your eight-hour junket, I was able. Oh, to that's gonna be awesome! Yeah. Love each other. Yes, yes. So that's so, great. So that's you guys, I see that. I see the love. I see it happening. <laughs> Video Maven and the Google Plus Maven getting together. Oh my gosh, video is going to explode. There goes YouTube. I know, right? Exactly. So, okay, <laughs> you guys have this eight hour content. What are you going to do with it? Mm, good question. So, I am in the process, the very long, arduous process of part into shorter little segments to share with our contributors and I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks to have a blooper reel because I'm sure that of everything we've ever done you say this is us being stupid and embarrassing that will be the most viral thing we can create um, right what is with that you know it's like that'll be our cat we'll say that's another video tip make a bloopers reel it'll get viewed three times more than your actual video so true don't know why. Whatever. That's okay. Maybe we'll put the video at the end of the bloopers reel. Hmm. I don't know. But yeah, we're working on that, and so we're using that as a gift to give to the contributors who participated so that they can use it in marketing ebooks suck themselves for their own sales. Gotcha. And then, like, do you see yourself, um, I guess, including it on your blog and also, I don't know, there's... I feel like there's so much you can do because it's eight hours. You can even include like, I don't know, some sort of, especially if there's people who shared really good tips to include it like in addition to the ebook, um, like a bonus or even just, I don't know, I feel like it's so wide open that what you guys can utilize it for. That's a good point. We need to pick her brain. Think, Annie, should we pick her brain one? We should, we should. Buy uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Those are great ideas because we do, we want to give it a run for its money. Obviously we've been, we've been sharing the, there, it's broken into two videos. Oh, FYI, for those of you thinking about doing these marathons, we didn't learn until four hours in that you can only record for four hours. Uh oh, telephone. Um, you can only record for four hours. So when that happened, we had to get off and come back. It was crazy. I tried to mute and it wouldn't mute. I'm not, well, I'm not in my home office today. Everything is a crazy fast. Cool. Cool, cool. So, anything um, else? Well, I, I was going to ask you because I know you said, Jenny, that um, you guys got cut off at a certain point. So, like you said, if you ever want to do a junket that's for a whole day, Make sure that, you know, you allot for that four-hour break, I guess. And did you guys just have to create a completely yeah, new hangout and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah so, so we, we had to take everybody off, kill the hangout, start it again, new YouTube link, put the YouTube link into the, um, the feed so everybody could watch it live. Um, so everything that you do to set up one of these, we had to do it all over again. And we were just very lucky that Dave Ursulo, who had just came on, hadn't started really talking yet. I was like, hold on, Dave, we're going to get cut off and you get to do it again. And so then he had a moment to put his thoughts together and start fresh. So we were like, two cent tip is do a hangout that's under four hours for your own good, for your blood sugar, <laughs> and for sake of everything. Just do it. If you want to do a marathon, fine. Do a marathon. Four hours, three hours and 58 minutes. 
it's still a marathon hangout. It's a long time to be on camera. So just start there, and then if you feel the need to go beyond, make sure that you set up a backup hangout for when you have to switch everything over. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for those who are interested in eBooks Suck and also joining the Hungry Entrepreneurs Tribe. Where can they find both items? Awesome question. Thank you for that. Um, so if you would like to buy eBooks Suck, we invite you to go over to Amazon and just search for eBooks Suck. Um, and I promise it'll come up. And again, the title is Ebook Suck, but they don't have to. The most comprehensive guide to ebook conception, creation, and promotion, quite possibly ever. And if you would like to join Hungry Entrepreneurs, just scoot on over to hungryentrepreneurs.com. That is plural, hungryentrepreneurs.com. And you can just, it is a seal. The other thing is, if you buy Ebook Suck, inside there, there might be a little gift to get you into hungry entrepreneurs that you may want to seek out. So I However, would, if oh, yes. you become a hungry entrepreneurs member, you might might also get ebook stuck for free. For free, that's correct. So our info products are free for our hungry entrepreneurs members. Awesome. Just saying. Okay. It's really good product entrapment. Mm -hmm. Also, um, we always are interested in how Hungries um, can serve you and, and how uh, what info products you want to know. What do you think sucks? You can let us know at, at HungryEntrepreneurs.com or directly at Annie at HungryEntrepreneurs.com and Jenny with an IE at HungryEntrepreneurs.com. And so send us an email. We'd love to hear from you. Awesome, cool. awesome. Thank you so much mm -hmm. once again for um, agreeing to do this Google Thank Hangout. You. And I'm telling you, I don't think I've seen anyone do this <laughs> yet. So you're pioneers for sure for hosting a Google Hangout for eight hours for your book launch. And um, if I'm not mistaken, you guys ended up ranking like number five or number four in Amazon. What is, or am I getting that wrong? Oh, good question. We won't. We rank, we're very proud of this. In our first day, we got up to number four in Kindle, eBooks, and the publishing and books category. We got up to number six in all of e all books on Amazon in publishing and books. And we got up to number eight in Kindle, eBooks, on entrepreneurship, which honestly, I think I'm more excited about that one than anything because entrepreneurship is a big deal. Heck yeah, and we have eight five-star ratings and counting. It's an awesome book. You have to have it. If you've ever thought about writing an ebook, please buy it. We're done plugging. Thank you for letting us plug. The other thing is Monique Johnson is a <laughs> genius, and the only reason I'm comfortable on video is her. If you don't know that about me, um, check out her website. My testimonials are slathering her website because we are the biggest fans of you ever, and I'm so, so excited. excited. Thank and you. check out Jenny's videos because they are sharp. Mm -hmm. um, because of Monique John talk. Just saying. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, enjoy the rest of your day, ladies. And um, yeah, for anyone else who's out there, this is a great way, I feel, that to launch any product. It doesn't even have to be an ebook, but it's a little bit of, I hope that you learned that it just takes a little bit of thinking outside of the um, box and utilizing the technology and the resources that you have. And hopefully, um, when Annie walked you through the process of actually putting this together, and so along with Jenny, it has generate has really gotten the gears rolling in your head. So um, thanks again for those who've attended live, and I will see you next time.